How's it going, everyone? I'm Garrett Brown. I'm the co-founder of Cameron Ranch Glamping. We want to wish you an amazing stay at our geodome that we just built recently. That is the first structure on our glamping site. I'm going to give you all a quick tour today of how everything works, give you some ins and outs. And if you're actually staying here on what you need to know and what will make your stay even better. If you haven't stayed here, we'd love to host you. Check the link in my bio. We'll see you soon. So walking up to the property, you do have two options on opening the door. I do recommend using the keypad that is up there. It's pretty easy to pretty easy to use and I will show you that right now as well but there also is a physical set of keys right over there that's in a lockbox as well so as you make your way up to the door you will be sent the code at least two days prior to check in um, I change the code all the time so you will not have the same codes this is your keypad right here type in your code and then you hit this little button right here you hear the little beep and you give it a second to open and when you close the door pull it in a little bit you can hit this button to lock it. The very first thing I'm gonna cover is the heating and cooling in this unit. Now, while we're lucky in Texas that it doesn't get too cold over time, we have both sides covered no matter what the temperature is gonna be. So right when you walk in, you have a little shoe rack with some storage and things like that there. There are some board games in here if you wanna use them. Feel free, Jenga and some other things like that. Now, there are no buttons on the actual front side. Everything is controlled by this remote. Please do not lose the remote because it is the only thing that controls the whole AC unit. That's why I have the security straps on it too. If you're wanting to work this unit and change out some different things, you need to take the remote a little bit further away. It's one little nuance I figured out myself. You can't have it here and click the buttons. It's not going to change it. Here I have it on the cooling setting and I can just go up and down on it. And if you want to change it to heat, hit this mode button and it will go to heat. Now it will shut off for a second if you are putting it on heat. It just kind of defrosts and does its own little intricacies that AC and heating units do, but it will shut, it will come on very shortly afterwards though, usually a few minutes afterwards. So don't alarm if you turn it to heat and you don't hear anything, it will come back on shortly with enough heat to really warm this dome up. And this will be where your welcome basket is that we have some small goodies at. It's not figured, not fixed up right now, as you can see. And if you ordered the VIP package, that is for our outside pizza oven with a pizza dough kit, eggs, bread, some other things like that to make your stay even more enjoyable, which is an extra cost as well. And we can add that into this basket here and it will be sitting for you for everything you need. Anything that's refrigerated will be in the refrigerator. Next thing to note is we do have this bean bag chair that does fold out into a double mattress as well. You can see the zippers in here. Unfold, unzip it. It will unfold and roll out into a full Double mattress as well to add on to your third person. If you have someone else staying here and you want somebody else to have the space there, we'll have a set of sheets available under the bed as well. If anybody is using this, they can put the sheets on it. Just leave the bed out and leave your dirty sheets wherever at. My cleaner will take care of it. We just want to know that it was used. That way we can make sure to clean it properly. If you want to turn off this LED light, you can unplug it on this backside right here. But if you want to leave it on, it's still a great feature as well. We'll most likely have it on when you come in the dome. This little QR code right here is for our online guidebook. This will have all the information that you're probably looking for. I highly, highly recommend it. I do send you this link to your messages before you arrive so you can have it, but it has tons of information about your stay, other places around here to fish, eat, have fun at the park, where the national forest is, all that type of information. This is extremely valuable to scan when you come in. This fan right here is another added fan. It will say the temperature in the place, but then you can also turn it on for extra cooling by the bed. Next over here, we have our internet router everything that's needed for that. This is our Roku TV. It is all hooked up, has Netflix, Hulu, all those different things. This is a queen memory foam mattress. There are two different sets of pillows there. One is firm, one is soft. If you do have a preference for more soft or firm pillows and you want a couple more of a particular type, just reach out to me and I'll make sure to have some out there for you. As you can see, I have the blinds on both sides. To open the blinds, just take it off this little holder. It will pop open. Then it runs across this simple string light suspension and you can pull both sides. And then I have these little hooks. A little hard to do it and film at one time, but I'm doing it for y'all. Clips together, give total privacy to block out any of the sun that may come in during the mornings or the, the afternoon. I would recommend putting the, putting the blinds up whenever you can when you're not enjoying the view. We have a freezer, refrigerator, Rid of water pitcher that is in there that is that has changed out all the time with the filter and everything like that. So this will be where your water this will be where your water sources in the freezer. We'll have ice trays with some ice made for hopefully a little bit of it. But feel free to make more as your time here keeps going. 
quick rundown of our coffee bar. We do have a Keurig machine as well. We will have some Keurig pods. My recommendation is to use the refillable. You can bring your own ground coffee as well. To use our refillable pods, which I recommend to help save the earth. Eventually we are gonna get rid of the pods most likely and just go to the refillable one. There are some filters down there for the refillable one. We also have some tea areas, some different cocktail making ingredients and cocktail cards. <clears throat> we also have a French press and an air fryer down there too. Feel free to take the air fryer out and use it on the, on the bar where we'll have an, a cord that you can plug it in on that side. And the cabinets right here, we have silverware, some plastic silverware and some measuring containers. Your trash can is on that side. This is an extra fan as well too. That is ran by this that is ran by this remote so if you want to change anything on it feel free to use this remote right here dehumidifier just to help with the humidity in here and on this bottom bottom shelf we have some we have some more coffee pods some s'more sticks some tupperware containers and anything like that that you might be looking for is probably in there we have plates bowls whiskey glasses regular glasses some baking sheets, and then some pots and pans that you may be using when you pull out. Slow close feature on these Ikea cabinets is really cool. Ooh, I'm fascinated by weird things. Your electric burners that you can take out. There are some heating pads in there, different mixing bowls, some different materials, some different material for cooking pizza. There's a toaster back there too as well. And then even the colander at the bottom for you. And there will be some different cleaning products if you do need anything or some hand towels or anything like that extra will all be underneath the sink. Fire extinguisher and all that is there as well. As you step into the bathroom, absolutely stunning in here. A couple things I do want to point out. In the shower, you do have some body wash, shampoo, and conditioner that we provide. Those all made with green tea, renewable products. This shower head is this little turn back here. You turn this on, it will do the whole shower head. You turn this off, it will do the smaller shower head. So you could take this out and use that. I recommend using the bigger one and that's usually how we leave it on for most part. These are your shower towels and hand cloths. There are more under here as well. Makeup towels as well under here. And then there also are a few different robes if these sizes don't fit for you. A couple different size robes will be hanging there. Dirty towels can go in there whenever you're done with them, just so we know that they were being used. That's all we ask. Under here, we do have some feminine hygiene products for use, hair dryer, and then we also have some complimentary makeup wipes, eye mask, earplugs, and toothbrush toothpaste kits if you do need anything and you forget anything. There's an extra fan over there because sometimes this, sometimes this part of the dome does get a little toasty when there's a lot of hot water going in, so I do recommend turning on this fan if it's not already on. This is one of my favorite features in the house. Not gonna lie. <laughs> One quick thing I did forget to go over to when it is night. We do have these string lights that you can turn on. Can't really see them right now because it is daytime, but it's all on this switch right here. Flip it off and flip it on. That controls this outlet up there. You can walk over here to your deck area. There is your lockbox right there as well. Walk over to it. We have done some upgrades to it. So this is a different day filming than when I did the inside. So it does look a lot nicer and I'm very happy with it. So as we start, I'll go corner to corner on what you're able to actually do on this deck. We try to put a lot of thought into this because we knew this is gonna be a really peaceful place for people. So starting off, so I bring it over here. Whoa, buddy. Ooh, these tools are getting fancy. I'm on a little swivel. So this is your pizza oven, grill and griddle. It's all of it combined. Boom, there will be different propane tanks. I'll make sure that they're filled and attached. All you're gonna have to do is just make sure there's a knob that says open, close. You just wanna turn it to open. Just twist it a few times and it'll open up. And then you're able to take this knob right here, push it in, and you're able to get, should be able to see flames in there. Do I see flames? And then I can smell it. Let's try that one more time. There you go, now we got it. So, as you can see, it's not perfect every time. You can take this pizza stone off if you're trying to just use the grill under it. The griddle is under that. You can take this pizza stone off, put this griddle on top of that if you wanna use the griddle part. But if you're doing the pizza, which I recommend if you got our pizza kit that is included if you book direct with us, you let it heat up. There's a little temperature gauge right here. It will say pizza when it's ready. 
you can open this up, put your pizza in, or you can even open it like this and put your pizza in and then check it this way. I do have, this is your prep cart right here. There will be all your little utensils and things under there. I'll take it off for right now, just to show. I'm a man of the people. Some different pizza kit tools, some other little tools down there to use for it. Very, very helpful. Feel like a little Vanna White-esque right now. Then you got a couple little games. There will be some bug spray over there. I do have more bug spray in another spot too, if you forget it, because I would not want to be out here without bug spray. So I do provide that if you need it. Please don't steal my cans though. <laughs> you have candles you can use. Hummingbird feeder, I've already started it. I lost a little uh, attachment thing, so I gotta get that to reattachment. You will have your fire pit area over there. I'll walk, oh, let me get this fancy thing. You'll have your fire pit area over there that will have some wood in it. See this blue tarp down here? This is where your trash can's gonna be, and this is where your firewood's gonna be. I cover it with that blue tarp so that way it doesn't get as wet if it does rain. You do have one outlet that is here for your available use. Just on this back side of this extension cord you can unplug this and plug in directly it just controls this led sign but there will be an aerator plugged in at this top part that that helps the pond beneficially i have it off at this second because i'm trying to get the fish acclimated to it but by the time you stay here it will be running 24 hours it's very quiet though you can't even see it it's over there there goes the hot if anything the hot tub jets are actually a little bit louder than anything and the crickets and the and the birds oh look there's some little hummingbirds right there I suck with this. Oh, they flew away. See? All right, I just put it up today. And we already got hummingbirds. So cool. Please leave the aerator plugged in, though. I do not want to take that out. It's not a major deal if you unplug it, but if you do, just please plug it back in. That's really what I ask. And if you can, just leave it in. I appreciate it. It's for the fish out there. For the fish. Doing Finding Nemo. So, got some cool artwork, different plants. Take you over here. Hot tub safety rules. Please, please read this. This is extremely important for the hot tub. There can't be food, there can't be glass or food or drink that gets spilled in the hot tub because if we have to do a deep cleaning on the hot tub because it got really dirty after you used it, we do have to charge you a $200 fee. Please just treat it with respect on your own. Don't sit your drink on the ledge. It's not gonna stay, I promise. I, I know this for a fact. There's a drink holder over there. You can set it anywhere on the deck. That's all I ask. Please, please, please. Because we try to drain this pool very, very often, way more than a lot of other people, once a week usually at least. And we try to preserve water and electricity that way to help the environment. That is my one, one true request I ask for you is please just have respect for the hot tub and treat it as your own. And you want to have an amazing stay out here because this is one of the best views and best things to do out here, especially if you're out here celebrating something special. So now that you're ready for the hot tub, it is hardwired in, so it does heat up pretty fast, but it could take a couple hours. So if you're wanting to get in, say you get here four or five o'clock and you're wanting to get in by seven and it's at 90 degrees or something, you can only go to 104 on it, turn it up. The cover will be on when you show up and I will show you how to put it back on because it is a requirement of the hot tub. Please, please put the cover back on once you're done with it. It helps keep the tub clean and bugs from coming out and, and not us having to charge if it gets excessively dirty because you left the cover off. That could be a way that happens and I don't want to do that. I, I That's the last thing I would want to do. But the cover will be on it when you arrive. You can turn on the jets here if you want to. Push them up. This turns on a light as well when it's a little more dark. You can turn them off here completely if you want, but... I like them. You can just kind of cycle in between here. Please leave the tennis ball or the turtle inside if they're there. They're there to help clean body lotions and oils and other things that people wear. Please take a shower before you get in the hot tub if you can. That is a rule on there. I understand that it is a little weird. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue that point with you, but it does. That's part of the reason why we have to try to keep it cleaner because people wear lotions, sunscreens from there when they're in the lake and other things like that. But so I would appreciate it if you do take a shower before. As you saw, we have an amazing shower. I have no problem with you taking multiple showers, especially if it's gonna help keep the hot tub clean. We do have a hammock over there. I need to add some sandbags on it, full transparency to try to keep it more weighted down. It does pretty good, but we did have a, a pretty major windstorm not long ago, and that was the only thing that fell over. So this thing is built like a tank, everything is good to go but cool little hammock. Let us know if you have any ideas as well for what we could do at this spot. We're thinking maybe a swing set or something over there, but we love to hear guest feedback. One last touch on the hot tub. This is your emergency stop. If any hair, if any hair gets tangled in a jet, which very rarely happens, just, you know, this is just something as a complete additional safety that is up to code. We are completely compliant with a commercial code for being a hotel. Only hit this in an emergency situation and it will stop everything going on in the hot tub. So you have a cornhole game there if you want to play. 
little seating stool. This is the only time you really probably need to go in this area. There's this bin up here. There's two bins. That one just has some cleaning supplies on the right. So if you open that one, don't worry about it. You'll know instantly that's not for you. This one does have some different things in it though. Let's see if I can get it out. <clears throat> some more. There's some fire starters in there. There is the there is the frame for the projector, but we might have a wood one by the time you come that is just already already hung, which is what we're working on soon. Some putters, uh, a couple other little things in there, and there will be some more outdoor activities in this container right here. You know, we do have our amazing pond that we've been working on to revitalize. We did put some, we did stock it not long ago. It already did have some fish in there. We, there are some smaller bass bluegill and there's some red ear out there too please catch and release for right now especially if you're watching this video if i haven't made an update to it we're still probably trying to grow the pond it does take a while to get some of these fish to the bigger size before we're really going to allow where we're actually we're hoping people take them out but right now is not the time so if you do catch please release it's probably going to be too small for you to even <laughs> do anything with so especially if it's a bass we only have a small amount of bass in there right now because we were trying to grow the bluegill population and all types of things. There's there's a whole science to pond management. That right there is the internet. Feel free to explore all around inside the fenced area. You can walk all the way to the back. There's a really cool creek back there called Huffman's Creek. My fence stops just right before it though, but feel free to walk all back in that area. We're gonna build one more really, really unique site back there probably in the next few months so stay tuned for that i recommend not walking down this way because that does get a little muddy down there i personally prefer if you're going to go fishing walk around this walk around this back side over here and then you come down and then go over there or or just go on this other side soon we're hoping to build a pier pretty soon too that people can walk out on but as you know all these things just take a little time so hopefully by the time you show up we have a pier that you can walk out on as well so i'll show you a couple cool little parts I do have this other little side that's not a full pond, but it is kind of a, a gully of sorts. I don't know, that sounds very country, I'm sure. But it's pretty cool because if you look around the bank sometimes, there's a pretty big family of turtles that live around there. And they have baby turtles. They'll get scared and jump in the water when you come over here. And we do own all this land that walks up there too as well, all the way up to the horse barn. So feel free to walk up. And there's a hidden hammock over there too. So if you're watching this video, you might find the hidden hammock. Send me a picture if you find the hidden orange hammock over there. And I'll give you $100 off your next stay because I don't think anybody's going to find it. I don't, I, don't, I don't think people are brave enough to walk over there. We do have Old Smoky. We do not provide charcoal, though, so please bring your own charcoal. If you are going to grill, but it works great, we'll leave you some firewood in there. It's a, supposed to be a smokeless fire pit. Debate on if it's actually that smokeless. A few times I've used it, but it's a nice little area for sure. So we do have some local artist murals that my friend King Dub actually did. No place like Dome. Pimp C flying in a Cadillac rocket car. We got Willie Nelson and Beyonce in space. So I need to mow tomorrow full transparency. This will be looking a little bit better. So our little putting green area that we have, we have three holes over there. And that's a pretty quick wrap up. I didn't want to go into a ton of detail on stuff. I'm very responsive. My team is very, very responsive. So if you have any questions, please reach out and let us know or how we can make your stay as amazing as possible because we really just value the guest experience and we want you to relax and revive that is why is our slogan and saying we want you to feel the connection with nature and really enjoy the small things even if it's for just a few days we built this place off the tragic loss of my brother about 14 years ago and that's why it's named cameron ranch glamping and in honor of him we really wanted to provide an area that people can come relax work on their mental health work on their connections with people and really reconnect with themselves and be in complete nature and just have and just have all the amenities that they're looking for when they want to stay somewhere comfortable we really really value all the feedback we get and we hope that every single second that you're here is amazing please let us know if you have any recommendations for anything we can do to improve the space going forward because we really value the feedback and if you're watching this video all the way through go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel because we'll be adding a lot more really unique stays going forward and i look forward to seeing you there